Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm and I'm back to talk to you about the 2GIG Edge security system and enrolling the 2GIG-Key2E-345 right here into the panel for use. So it's very, very easy to do, very quick. Uh, what we're going to do first here is we're going to go ahead and get into our installer menu by pressing the gear in the bottom right hand corner of the touchscreen. At that point enter your installer code which mine is factory of 1561. Then we're going to scroll down to the third row, it's going to say Installer Toolbox. You want to click that. At that point, you'll see a new set of menus appear. We want to go into Panel Programming. And then we want to go into Key Fobs. Once you get into Key Fobs, it'll show all a, a listing of your active Key Fobs in the system. Uh, we don't have any in this. This is a fresh system. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and program it in fresh. So the first option you're going to see uh, on the right-hand side of Key Fob 1 is Fob Active. Go ahead and click on that so it brings that option up and you want to enable that. It's going to say disabled so make sure that you enable it or this key fob won't work. Then we're going to press the down arrow. We are working with the E-Series encrypted sensor for the key fob so this equipment code is going to be 2866. Um, it'll show you right here on the right hand side for the equipment code. Just press the hamburger icon on the right hand side and it'll give you a drop down with a listing of all the key fob uh, equipment codes. So this one is 2866 after you've chosen that, we're going to hit the down arrow. Then this is where we're going to learn it in. Super easy to do. You're going to go ahead and hit learn. At that point, it's going to start listening. You just want to go ahead and press the button that has the asterisk on it. Just like so. And it should learn it in. At this point, you see it accepted the serial number. We're going to hit accept. Then we're going to hit the down arrow. It's going to have voice descriptor. We don't want to put one in. It's just a key fob. If you want to, you can, of course. But in this case, I'm not going to. Um, then this is a smart areas assignment. Uh, this is where we're going to activate the emergency key, which is the button that we just pressed, the asterisk. So if you want it to be, you know, a medical uh, button, you would choose auxiliary. If you wanted it to be uh, an audible uh, police panic, you would choose audible. You can do a silent police panic. You can also do a fire. So it's completely up to you. In this case, I'm just going to leave it disabled, uh, but uh, we'll move on. Um, the FOB can disarm. You want to make sure that's enabled or else this unlock button will not work. Uh, and at this point, uh, I've gone through pretty much all the options. Uh, arm with no entry delay. So that if you wanted this key FOB to immediately arm the system instead of going through its regular delay, you would choose that option. Uh, but as I said, in this case, we're ready to rock. I'm going to go ahead and back out of programming by hitting the back arrow until we're completely out. At this point, we're going to go ahead and test it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'll arm it. Okay, it's arming away. We'll go ahead and disarm it now. Now we'll arm it in stay mode, which is the person inside of the house. And then we'll disarm it again. At this point, your key fob is learned in. It's ready to go. Uh, if you guys have any questions or you have any comments, please leave them below. Other than that, take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.